Here we are with John Vera, the phenom, after his majority decision win at FHG Boxing Gym. How you feeling, man? I feel good, man. I just came off a big victory, and it's exciting to be on national television and stuff. Very, very big fight, man. Like you said, uh, I'm glad you addressed it. National television, um, you were the co-main event, solo boxeo. Um, Coach Ray Ray was saying you guys didn't even know you were co-main event until you guys got there. Yeah, that's true. We were at the weigh-ins, and uh, they uh, called the main event to weigh in. And then right after that, they called my name and they announced it as co-main event. And we're kind of like all surprised. We're like, oh, sh like shit, what happened? Right. <laughs> That's funny because we actually got that video, and you kind of do have that surprise look, like you were expecting to be called in the back yeah. or, or later on in the on the card. Yeah, for sure. It just kind of surprised everybody. Took everybody by surprise, but we were ready just to you know be on TV anyway. So. And, and how was that, man, for you fighting on TV and, uh, you know, getting the win? And how has the reaction been for you after the win? Being on TV wasn't that big of a deal for me. I just, you know, looked at it as any other fight. Really, not didn't pay attention to the cameras too much. I just, I was just in the zone, really. Uh, reaction afterwards, like family and everything, they're really excited. They're, they're pumped. I had, like, all my, my friends from back in the day and everything all watching. They recorded it and everything. So, it was, uh, everybody's really excited. I can't wait to you know, be on there again. Nice, nice, man. So you, you took it, you approached it as a professional, uh, just another day at the office. Yeah, exactly. But the love uh, that you received has got to feel good, man. Uh, it does, yeah. My phone was blowing up afterwards. It was just all over the place. <laughs> hey, man, congrats on that. And also congrats on the win, man. The majority decision win against uh, Alberto Robles, uh, toughest guy uh, that you faced thus far. How did, how did you feel in the ring? I felt... A a little sluggish in there. I mean, I took the fight on 10 days notice. You know, I dropped a pretty good amount of weight to get to 152 is what the weight limit was. Um, but other than that, I felt pretty good. Not my sharpest, but you know, my counters were there and everything. And he can take a punch though. He's a tough dude. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did take some shots. Coach Ray Ray says you're always staying in the gym, so you taking the fight on 10 days notice wasn't that big of a deal as opposed to other fighters who who are not working. Yeah, for sure. I, I work in the gym, so I'm constantly in the gym or running or you know doing my exercises or any type of CrossFit type thing. Either way, I'm just in the gym no matter what. So. That's how I, I mean I stay in shape. I like to, I like to look good also, so that helps me stay in shape also. So when we see this matchup when it was made. We said you know uh, he step, he's taking a step up. Uh, did you feel Alberto Robles was a step up compared to competition in the past? Yeah, for sure. I mean we've been looking for a step up. We've we've uh, we've searched around for other fights and we've been turned down quite uh, quite a bit. So him taking that fight, I give big props to him and you know both of us a step up for both of us on a big stage and we accepted it. True man, great point man. Undefeated versus undefeated, young in you guys' career, man. So that's awesome. So props to you once again. Hey, uh, tell me a little bit about as far as the weight that you really want to fight as far as making your run at. Uh, what weight class would you want to make your run at? I'd like to make it at 147, but that's when, you know, I could have fights lined up. Right. You know, but uh, if they're short notice fights, I'd probably have to be at 154 for right now. I got you. So, but, uh, I'm a tall dude, so yeah, true, 147 true. is pretty tough to make. So what's your weights? Uh, ideally, what you'd want to be at, yeah. as you said, you know, staying um, busy. St uh, speaking of staying busy, Casey says you got a fight already lined up as well. Yeah, he's got me a fight in January in Baton Rouge uh, against Todd Manuel, I believe. He's 9-4. and four. So I think that's pretty much a done deal right now. So uh, that's what we're looking forward to. Hey, man, that's awesome, man. Staying busy, stayed undefeated. Um, excited to have you on our show tomorrow, True Talk Radio, man. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you feeling today on this on this Monday following your victory on Saturday. Uh, I feel good, but, you know, just like back to, back to work and everything. So... It's like, uh, I can't wait till I'm done with that part and I can just make boxing my full time job. Hey, man, you got to work to get there. Respect yeah. respect your grind. Tell me a little bit about FAG Boxing Gym, man. How is it out here uh, with Coach Ray Ray, Casey, and all the team out here? Oh, man, my team's great, man. I couldn't do it without them. They're, uh, they're one of a kind. They keep me uh, laughing and everything when, you know, it's time to be serious, but... They keep me laughing and keep me uh, my mind off the fight as much. Nice, nice, man. Any bumps and bruises following the, the war uh, on TV? Nothing on my face. I mean, I got a little bruised hand, a little swollen, but uh, that's no big deal. That'll go down anytime. True, man. Spoken like a true fighter. Just deal with it and keep it moving, right? Yeah. And that happened, like, I think that happened in, like, the fifth round. So I fought, like, the fifth and sixth round like this. Nice, but you were still throwing the shot, so, yeah. you know. It's yeah, hurting, but you got to do what you got to do. Fighting like a warrior. Hey, uh, before we let you go, man, uh, anything you got to say to the boxing fans, boxing heads out there or about John Vera or anything you got to say? Uh, just keep an eye out for me, man. I'm on my way up, and, uh, I, you know, I'm 
talented fighter and slick, you know. I got the pop, got everything, so just look out for me. I'm coming up 147, 154, whichever one I decide to be at. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, John Vera the Phenom. Look out for him, John Vera Jr. Thank you.